Hey everybody, it's Tuan N. Guy. Um, I really didn't want my re-entry into the vlogosphere to be about this subject matter. But since this is on my heart, this is a current event, um, I felt like I really needed to express myself. Um, as it relates to, first, before I even get into it, let me just say, um, I respect and and um i admire the botham family more specifically um well john the john family i really admire the brother his little brother for um standing up and forgiving um the perpetrator of this crime the convict um and saying I forgive you and I don't want anything bad to happen to you. I really wish, you know, me and my brother would really wish for you to give your life to Christ and, you know, live your best life. I totally get that. I respect it. I understand it. I I get it. I really do. Um, my issue is not with their belief and with how they are processing this tragedy. My issue is with the injustice, number one that has come down this heifer committed murder and she was sentenced for manslaughter anybody who is relatively awake knows that if it were a black man cop or not who had busted into the home of a white woman and shot her to death not only would he have been in prison or in jail the entire time waiting for his trial. He would have been in jail during the trial and sent back to jail. This woman is convicted of murder and she's being treated like she did not commit murder. That is my, that is my first issue. My second issue is with the fact that I now believe more than ever that Black people are conditioned. We have been taught that it is more noble. It is more respectable. It is more important for us to be forgiving when people do injustices or do wrongs against us versus us being passionate about seeking justice. Being seen as, be, being seen as forgiving is more important than our cries for justice, our being passionate for wanting to see the people who have done injustices against us, we, it, they should pay. We should want to see them pay. I really don't understand why that is so wrong. And the reason I come to this conclusion is because scripture says, the scripture that I've read, and I've read a few, in my 40, almost 48 years, I've read a few scriptures and I understand. I think I can comprehend pretty, you know, a little bit, comprehend what I read. Um, love is unconditional. Love's character is unconditional. Everything about love is unconditional. Forgiveness, however, is not. God set that precedent. In fact, it's in scripture. And if we're going to do Bible, let's do Bible. The scripture says that if my God says, if my people who are called by my name will first humble themselves to pray, three, seek my face, four, turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven, forgive the sin and heal the land. In other words, you have to humble yourself and pray, meaning God, I messed up. I did some wrong shit. And this is my way of letting you know I recognize I messed up. I recognize it. I accept it. Whatever I have to do, to make this situation right for as long as I have to do it. Show me what I have to do so I can get this straight. 
And then you have to turn from the wickedness. You have to do something. You have to actually seek the right way. You can't you don't want to do it the wrong way anymore because you recognize it's wrong. You want to turn around and do things the right way. The Bible says, then God will hear from heaven to forgive the sin, then heal the land. Meaning the damage that's been done because of what you did. Because you are now repentant and have a contrite heart. You then qualify for me to not even seek your eternal punishment. But you're going to have to get this right. And then I will be able to heal everybody that has been affected by what you did. So forgiveness, according to Bible, is conditional. You got to do some shit. It can't be, oh my God, I'm sorry. No, I don't believe this woman is remorseful. Number one, because the first thing you did was got a lawyer. So that you can go to court and try to prove your innocence. A remorseful person accepts the fact that they messed up that they did something wrong and they want to fix it. If she was remorseful, she would have thrown herself at the mercy of the court, said, I messed up, I have done something horrible and I have to pay for it. She didn't do that. So I don't buy the remorse plea. And again, I, I really, res I do respect the Jean family and their beliefs and how they are handling this situation. I really do. My heart goes out to them, but I'm telling y'all, it could not have been me. I would want to see her pay. And I don't think God has a problem with that. So let me know what you think. Comment, um, subscribe, share the video. Let me know what you think about this because I really do feel like black people have been set up for failure where this is concerned. We are more programmed to feel it is more important for us to be seen as forgiving people than it is for us to be seekers of justice. Let me know what you think.